Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dallas Films back with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the top 10 MVP candidates from each league in 2019 so far. We're going to start with the AL. We're going to start with 10, go all the way up to 1. I'm going to go over a few stats from each player. Coming in at number 10, we have Red Sox own Mookie Betts. Betts has been tremendous lately to the tune of a 284 average, a 493 slugging, and an 882 OPS. Now at number 9, we have the only pitcher on the AL side, and that's Justin Verlander of the Houston Astros. Verlander has been tremendous with 11.76 K-9, a 268 ERA, and a 342 XFIP, giving him a 3.7 war for the season. Coming in number 8 is the first of two Oakland A's on this list, and it's Matt Chapman. Chapman has a 515 slugging with a 38 war and 126 weighted runs created plus, while having a very, very great defensive season. Now at number 7 is the only twin on this list, and it's Max Kepler. In 103 games this year, Kepler has a 39 war, 129 weighted runs created plus, and a slugging of 551. He's also had 30 home runs up to this point. Now at number 6, we have the other Oakland A on this list, and it's Marcus Semien. In 113 games, Semien has put up a 4.3 F4, 123 weighted runs created plus, and 11.3 defensive rating. Now at number 5, and I know Yankees fans will be mad at me, but it's DJ LeMahieu. LeMahieu's had a wonderful season, hitting 335 with 139 weighted runs created plus, a good defensive season, and 17 home runs. Now coming in at number 4, just missing the top 3, is Houston Astros' own Alex Bregman, with a 531 slugging, 148 weighted runs created plus, and a 4.7 war. He's also hit 27 home runs and scored 80 times. Now coming in at number 3, and the first player on the podium is Red Sox' Rafael Devers. Devers has had a true breakout season with a 4.3 war, 137 weighted runs created plus, hitting 320 with a 562 slugging, 22 home runs, 86 RBIs, and 90 runs. Now at number 2, and a second straight Red Sox, is shortstop Xander Bogarts. Bogarts has had a 5.1 war, 143 weighted runs created plus, a 565 slugging, hit 25 home runs, driven in 84, and scored 88. And at number 1, did you have any doubt? It's Mike Trout. In 106 games, Trout has put up an astronomical 7.1 war with a 659 slugging. He's at 36 home runs, driven in 87, scored 85, stolen 8 bases, strikes out just as much as he walks, hit 296, a 437 OBP. Come on, it's Mike Trout. What did you expect? Now for a quick review, starting at 10, going up to 1, we had Mookie Betts at 10, Justin Verlander at 9, Matt Chapman at 8, Max Kepler at 7, Marcus Semien at 6, DJ LeMahieu at 5, Alex Bregman at 4, Rafael Devers at 3, Xander Bogarts at 2, and of course, Mike Trout at 1. Now let's take a look at the analyst side of things, but before that, we have a little ad. Now coming in at number 10 on the NL side is Max Muncy. Muncy's been tremendous off of his breakout season last year with a 3.4 war, 136 weighted runs created plus, a 264 average with a 525 slugging, and he's even hit 27 home runs. Now at number 9 is Trevor Story. Story's had a 3.9 war, 117 weighted runs created plus, a 561 slugging, and he's hit 25 home runs while playing excellent defense, which is an underrated part of his game. Now at number 8, we have Javier Baez. And even though Baez strikes out 28.2% of the time, he still has managed to rack up a 4.4 war, 123 weighted runs created plus, a 563 slugging, and played unbelievable defense this year. Coming in at number 7 is one of two pitchers on this list, and it's Hunjin Ryu. Ryu has been the second best pitcher in the NL this year in my opinion, with a 1.53 ERA and a 2.84 FIP. He jacked up 3.9 war and strikes out 7.76 guys through 9. For number 6 we have the other starting pitcher, and it's Max Scherzer of the Washington Nationals. Scherzer's been unbelievable this year with a 2.08 FIP, a 2.41 ERA, 5.6 war, 12.66 K through 9, and only 1.6 walks through 9. 
Now at number 5 is kind of a surprise. It's Cattell Marte of the Arizona Diamondbacks. The All-Star this year has had a 578 slugging, 143 weighted runs created plus, played excellent defense, and has racked up a 5.3 war. Now at number 4 is Ronaldo Acuna Jr., which is one of my favorite names to say, and he's had a tremendous, tremendous season with 127 weighted runs created plus, a 3.9 war, a 505 slugging, hit 27 home runs, scored 88 times, stolen 25 bases, hit 70 RBIs, and played very mediocre defense. Now number 3 is the most underrated player in the MLB, and a top 10 player in my opinion, it's Anthony Rendon of the Washington Nationals, who's hit an astronomical 153 weighted runs created plus, 4.64 with being hurt for a lot of the season, a 317 average, a 604 slugging, hit 24 home runs, and hit 86 RBIs only in 98 games. Now we get the big two, and at number two I have Christian Yelich, who followed up his MVP season with an even better one, with 180 weighted runs created plus, a 705 slugging, a 64 war, 39 home runs, and 23 stolen bases. And now at number one, maybe a surprise to some of you, is Cody Bellinger. Bellinger has been unbelievable with a 6.4 war, 178 weighted runs created plus, a 675 slugging with 37 home runs, but he's just played much, much better defense than Yelich, which I give him the edge for because I do value defense quite a bit, especially in the outfield. Now in conclusion for the NL, from 10 to 1, it's Max Muncy, Trevor Story, Javier Baez, Hyunjin Ryu, Max Scherzer, Cattell Marte, Ronaldo Acuna, Anthony Rendon, Christian Yelich, and of course, Cody Bellinger. So those are my picks for the top 10 MVP candidates from each league. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you really liked it, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more of this series, I do every single award, like Rookie of the Year, Manager of the Year, which probably you don't want to see that one, Cy Young, and Rookie of the Year. Did I already say that? I probably already did. Then tell me in the comments or just like the video. Stat Party will be returning. And that's all I got for you. See ya.